Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. So, it's been a while since I last posted it, and I'm sorry for that. Stuff has been coming up, and I accidentally deleted all of my footage from my Minecraft videos, and I'm sorry about that. But today, I was watching my, one of my videos the other day, and I was watching my Rubik's Cube one, and it's been a while, and I just thought it would be better if I could redo it so that I've had more experience and I've learned more stuff and I thought I would just do it again for the sake of the video. So yeah, here we go. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go much more in depth. So the basics are white is always across from yellow, right? You always gotta remember that. And orange is a cross from red. And same with blue and green. Now you always have to remember that because that's the most important part of the entire cube. So what you're gonna do is for the beginner's method, you're going to want to find the yellow side and face it up. Now you're going to want to find these white edges, right? And you're going to want to find all four of them. So I have one right there and put it on the yellow face. So now we're gonna put another one and insert it there. All right, so it's pretty easy so far. And now we're gonna find the next one, put it in. And then we're gonna find the last one, which is right here, and then insert. So now the next step is to, so find the white edge that you wanna put in the white. So what you're gonna, going to do is find this piece and it's matched up with green. So you could go and match it up. So one, two, which matches it with, matches it up with a green pail. Now you're going to go one, two. So that way it's matched up with the white side like that. All right, see that? Now what you're going to do is you're going to find the next pair and you're going to match it up just like that. So let's say it was like this. You want to match that one up just like that, all right? So you're going to insert, so one, two, and for the next piece, all right? Again, if it's like that, it's like that, you're going to want to turn it over one, so how it's matched up. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go one, two, that way, and then you're going to find the last one, and just how it happens that it's already matched up with the red piece, all right? So, last step, one, two. So now, you already got the cross halved. All right, so now that we have the cross solved, we're going to find these edge pieces, all right? Or the corner pieces, sorry. So on this case, it has a white pair, a white paired with green and red, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to find the red, I mean the green and the red face. And of course it matches up with the white. So you're gonna go back to that piece what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down, side, and then up, and then side again. So now you have at the bottom of the cross. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it over two, or however many times it needs to be so that it matches up with these two. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go down, and then side, and then back up. All right, so now you have that little square as hold. So you have the white and then it's matched up with that. So now you have a, a piece of it's hold. And now we have another one just like that. So we have a white piece right there, all right? And it's, and it's matched up with the red and the blue. So we're going to find the red and, and the blue, which is, it's right here. So we're gonna move it over two. So one, two. Oh. This one actually, sorry about that. So, now we're gonna do the exact same algorithm. So we're gonna go down, and then side, and then up again, and then side, all right? So now you have that solved, and it's all matched up. So now you have another one, another corner, which is matched up with the blue and the orange. 
So you're gonna go down, side, up, side. And now you have it at the bottom. And you're gonna do that exact same algorithm. So you're gonna go down, and then side, and then up, and then side again. And now, that's helped. And now we only have to do this last corner. So, we have one right here. So, it's gonna go to the side, so it matches up with the orange. And then we're gonna go down, side, up, and then side. So now you get the entire white face solved. Now, let's say you happen to get this, which is kind of bad. So we're just gonna get, so let's say you get this case. It's not bad, it's just it's a little bit more difficult. So what you're gonna do is gonna find the pair again. And this time, it, instead of inserting it this way, now that it's the white is facing towards you, instead of this way, you're going to want to turn the cube that way. Set, set this color is facing this color, All right? So now you're gonna go down on the left side this time, then side, then up again, then side. And now we, we have this case. So we're gonna go side, side, and now we have exactly what we had before, where it's this case. All right, so we're gonna go down, right, side, and then up again, and side. So now you have this entire face half. In a case you didn't catch that, you are going to, so if you have this case, so I am really specific right now. So if you have one corner left or any other corner, doesn't matter. And then you see that it's facing this exact direction, where it's on the right. You're going to turn the cube so that the white right is facing towards the left, just like that. All right, so you're going to go down on the left, and then side again, and then up. And now you have the entire face solved. That's the first two steps of solving the cube. All right, so now that you have this entire first white side done, you're going to want to solve these pieces. And this step will probably take you a bit more time, but what this is going to do is it's going to get this entire first half from here on up solved. So you're going to be solving this piece, this piece, this piece, and that piece. So. What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to find any pieces on the bottom. But if you don't have a piece on the bottom, you're going to do the same algorithm that I'm about to show you. So you're going to want to find the piece that you want to insert. So this is blue and orange. All right. So you, you're going to want to match it up with the blue and orange. So the top face is blue, which means I'm going to face it up to the Blue. But now, since it has to go this way, you're going to turn it the opposite direction, all right? So, the algorithm is this side, down, side again, up, side, turn the cube, down, and then side, and then up. And now you have that first chunk solved. See that? It's pretty awesome. So, now that I have no other cases on the bottom like that, I'm going to want to find a piece like this. So you're going to want to go the exact same algorithm. So you're gonna go down and then side and then up and then side again and then down and then side and then up and then side and then turn the cube and then side and then up. So now that we just got that piece undone from that piece, we have the green and the orange right there. See that? So they're batched up. So you're going to want to move it over so it matches the green. In this case, instead of doing it that way, the, the other color is at the bottom, so is the orange. So you, and since the orange is on that side, you're going to want to turn it away. So you're going to go side, and then down, and then side again, 
and then up, and then side, turn on the cube, down, and then side, and then back up. And now you have that other uh, chunk solved. All right, so now that we have this entire chunk solved, we're gonna move on to the next colors. So I see that the red is right there. So I'm gonna look down, and I see that it's matched up with the green. And those two haven't solved yet. So I'm gonna see the top face, and the build over one side's matched up with it. And since green is at the bottom, green is right there, we're gonna do the algorithm to the white. So make sure that's matched up. And we're gonna go side, and then down, and then side again, and back up, and then side, and then turn the cube, and then down, and then side again, and back up. All right, so now we got that piece. And now we only have to do this last part. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna bash up to the red, right? So the bottom color is blue, and we know that blue is right there. So we're gonna do the algorithm to the left this time, all right? So we're gonna go side, down, side again, back up, side, turn the cube, down, side, and then up. And there you have it. We got the first two layers solved, all right? Okay, so this next step can be more tricky. So what we're gonna do is called to look OLL, all right? So OLL stands for orientation of the last layer, all right? So in my case, we have this little square over right here and we're not gonna pay attention to this piece. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go down like that, all right? And up, and side, and then down, and then side, and then turn this face back up. And now you have this little line. So now you're going to have this line. So you're going to do the same algorithm, being sure the line is facing left to right. So you're going to go down, up, side, down, side again, back up. And now you have this little cross, all right? So let's just say you already have the cross solved, all right? Then you're already one step ahead of us. Let's say you already have this line. You're gonna do that same algorithm. So you're gonna go down, up, side, down, side, back up. Now you have the same cross. You have nothing but dots like this. Now remember, right now we are ignoring the corners. So let's just say we have this little dot right there. So what we are going to do, so we're gonna go side, up, side again, down, side, back up. So, so far it's gonna be the exact same algorithm every time, all right? So we're gonna go down, side, up, side, I mean down, sorry. Side, and then down. And now, remember, you, you're going to put this to left to right. So it's gonna go down, side, over, down, side, up. And now, and now you have this cross, all right? Now what we are going to focus on is solving the entire yellow face. So, Let's say you have this case, all right? What you're going to want to do, you're going to, going to find the, that piece just like that, who has an empty piece. So, you're gonna go up, side, down, side, up, and then go over side two times, and then back down. Now, now you have this case, and you're going to do the exact same thing. So, up, side, down, side, up, and then said two times, one, two, and then back down. Now you should have this. Well, as if you don't have a yellow piece right there, but instead you have it right there, you're going to make sure that the square is on the left bottom side, all right? Always make sure of that. So you're going to go up, side, down, side, up, side, side, and then down. And now 
if you turn it to the bottom left, you have it at the bottom of the yellow and there. So they're going to do the algorithm again. So up, side, down, side, up, and then side, side again, then down. And now you have the entire yellow side done. You end up with this, all right? So now that you have nothing on this side, you're gonna do the exact same algorithm that I just showed you. So up, and then side, and then down, and side, and then up, side, side, and then down. So now if, if you have an algorithm that looks like this, it's gonna be the same thing. So we're gonna go up, side, down, side, up, side, side, and then down. And now, do you have it? So this last step is going to have you solve the entire cube. So what you're looking for is either a solid line like that, or a line that's like, to give you an example, this, all right? So either headlights, which is what we call this, or a full bold line. So what you're gonna do with either one of those, is you're gonna go over two, so that's in the back, just like that, all right? So you're gonna make sure it's, that it's facing the back of you. So what you're gonna do is holding the white side facing towards you, you're gonna go down, and then side, and then down again, and at the bottom, one, two, and then up, and then side, and then down, and then side, side, and then up, up. And now, you hopefully have something that's all headlights, just like that. Or, or you can have one full color, and then dust headlights, it doesn't matter. But what you do here, is you're going to batch up the sides. So, you got something that looks like this, right? So it's, that looks like that. So you're gonna do the exact same algorithm. So you're gonna go down, and then side, then up, I mean down, sorry, then side, and then up, well, no, side again, sorry, and then up, and side, and then down, and then side, side, and then up, up. So now you have something that looks like this. Either as a full side and then the rest is headlights, like that, or you have all headlights just like me. If you have a, a full back side, like if this were blue right here instead of orange, then you would hold it in the back of you. All right, so now that you're holding whatever side it is on the back, you're going to follow my steps, all right? So you're going to hold it like this and go up, side, then up again, and then side, up, side, then up, then to that west side, and then down, and then over, and side, side. I have the entire cube oriented so it's now like that. So you're gonna do the exact same algorithm. So you're gonna go up, side, down, I mean up, sorry, side, up, side, up, side, down, side, up, up. So now, what you're looking for is to have the opposite colors. So this is orange, you're looking for it to be that way. So, now you're gonna hold it this way so that the orange is facing this way, all right? Or, or the red. So, you're gonna go up, side, up, side again, up, side, and then up, and then side, and then down, and then side, and then up two more times, and now you have the entire thing solved. You got something like this, all right? What you're gonna do is the exact same thing. You're gonna go up, side, up, side, up, side, then up again, then side, down, up, I mean side, sorry, and then up, up. So now you have the exact same case where the green is supposed to go to this side, and the but it's on the blue, so it's on the opposite side. So now you're gonna hold it towards the right. So you're gonna go up, side, 
up, side, up, side, up, side, down, side, and up, up. And now you should have the entire cube solved. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the video and it helped you understand and how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Uh, one thing that I would say is that I would encourage you to rewatch the video and just memorize all of the patterns that I showed you so that you can keep on getting faster and, f and faster. Right now, my average of five solves is about t is 21 seconds and my best is 10 seconds. So I would encourage you to keep on pressing and pressing and if you feel like you need it, get a speed cube just like mine, alright? So thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys later.